Okay, we're back out here at this uh, vacant lot here on Tatum. That I've been kind of drooling over this here lot as an investment, though. The city, I talked with the city prior to them cutting it. Actually, the city cut this lot. I didn't do it. I, I haven't invested in this lot yet, though, but uh, it is uh, a property of interest. And the video before was when it was all growed up and weeded. Kind of, it's pretty much growed up. And, uh, and of course the address, they wrote it down here on the ground as we can see. 2810 is what this address should be. Now this covers this whole lot. Now you can see the city put marks on the ground. Let me get that, that marker real quick. Okay, from this yellow mark, it should cover all this. Back to the tree line. That's the tree line over there. And it goes to to this mark. And it should go all the way to the tree line. So actually the neighbors over here are kind of cutting a good portion of this lot though. And I appreciate it, but you know, I know they want it cut too because it makes a lot of room for them if they have kids or children to get a good look at the neighborhood of the area. It's fairly quiet. So that's a good thing for this lot here. A little trashy. What portion? portions of trash they did a good job of bush hogging it. This here can hold two homes. I'm gonna walk it down a little bit just hope I don't fall off in a ditch or a hole. There's a little sink right there. All these little sinks and things really shouldn't matter. They can be leveled off or filled in. Good job. And I'm thinking a lot of people are scared of leans, grass cutting leans and stuff like that, but in a way they could be good though because when the grass actually gets as tall as this property did, you know, it'd be better left up to some professionals to cut it. And some of those professionals would be city hired uh, contractors to come in and cut these type of lots. And then I, if I invest in a lot, if I happen to pick this lot up for what the back taxes and, and the uh, the minimum bid, which is the assessed value, which this lot I believe is like fifteen hundred altogether for the taxes and the uh, the minimum bid put together. And uh, since it's already cut, well, that's just less that I have to worry about getting this lot cut if I took this lot up. But anyway, that's a, one of the neighbors right there. I'm pretty sure they want this lot cut too. So anyway, done deal. All I gotta do is call the city and find out how much the cutting lien is on it. I'm still thinking about this one. Out.